Okay, here we go with data, folks. And basically, a lot of 5.1 and bigger 5.0s like crazy in Indonesia area. Uh, Turkey and Syria still getting the action. Low numbers, but still. And then... On to Japan, but the one thing in Tonga is going crazy steadily, 5.1 to 5.4. Quite a distance, but still in the Indonesia area also, so very active down there. Greece seems to be getting a little bit more of the action than Italy was been getting. India, and then we get Italy, southern Italy did get a 2.2 there. Now Germany also had a 2.2. Okay, and that's very steady, usually very steady soil, terra firma. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is Hudson Bay got one at 4.9. So Canada is shaking again, which is normally very solid land in itself. Okay, let's take a look at the second page. I haven't went to two minute news though, but I always suggest everybody go to check two minute two minute news out. Suspicious observers and also Dutch sense. So let's see what we got here. And like I said, the Indonesia area has been getting it, and there they got a five point nine. So almost a six. Be interesting to see if it maybe was it, but anyway, we trust these guys. Five point nine, and then Pacific Ocean had six point one. So five point six at Tonga. Six point oh looks to be the biggest that Tonga had. I could be no nope, six point five right there in between my eyeballs. There you go, six point five in Tonga. So and usually the depth at everything and go up at the top to make sure depth. It's usually, yeah, Tonga's pretty deep depth. See, Fiji's always deep. It's 600. I think that's meters, I'm pretty darn sure. So, that's pretty deep because that's three foot a meter uh, kilometers. So, anyway, big depths, big quakes. And no time of settling down soon, and like I've told you guys before, those big objects, heavy objects coming by. And check out all these very high magnitudes off of Honshu, Japan. So Honshu is brought up this mag way big, 6.5, usually 5.7 and lower. So 6.5, 6.3, 6.2, 6.3. So more signs of possible problems with maybe actually going to ground those nuclear mess ups from Fuka Fudge Up. And we're over at the Ray Network facility, ANF. And we should be able to pick up the Hudson Bay one. Two point four in Michigan. And then three point four in Ontario. I'm not seeing anything up on Hudson Bay at all. At least I don't see anything listed. So Hudson Bay did have that four point nine, so and then it had a five point two magnitude in British Columbia. So another quake over in British Columbia. It looks like about the same area. And yes, folks, all these quakes are real, and none of them are more than 14 days old. Okay, you see the legend here, three to seven days, all these quakes are here. Okay. All this is happening, okay. So, here's the graphs, the latest on the graphs. A little bit of ink around the world. So, looks like we must have had one quake yesterday. Or, I mean, this recent action, I guess. 
about the same time. So it'll be interesting what we get on the Antarctica. The Antarctic Norway again with more action. Norway more action. Norway ver normally a very stable terra firma. So it looks like the big ones in Japan are Indiana, a little action. So California's been busy on the quakes, I guess, and they got a fire down there by Baja, it looks like, also. And also, notice the fire activity up here. Minnesota, North Dakota border in Canada. We'll zoom in a little bit, at least we're hoping it will. Also a fire over in Kansas area, Utah, and then we get over here by all these quakes we got going on all over California. Threw out Nevada too, also, and then also a quake in quakes in Utah. The reds are recent. So as you can see, and then we got a fire down in Hawaii also. One of the islands was has fi a fire somewhere. 2.2, 2 .2, 3.0, 1.8, and Look, we really got to stretch the map up here. 2.4. So Hawaii's been pretty busy. You know, like I'm stuck on this map side, but anyway, you see all the fires over in Brazil, all the fires in Australia, and a few in China and also in Russia. Did you see these here? Fires and then we got a fresh quake there. 5.1, 4.5, Aleutians, 2.3, and don't forget all these other tiny ones. Alaska is very busy, it's never quieted off. Quieted. So, let's go see what 2 Minute News has to say. Here's the latest from the USGS. They have India listed, Argentina, Indonesia, and that's the latest in the Times. I guess they must have a map within a map here. It's your magnitude on the left. So Canada's not alone. North Dakota got a quake too. 3.3. I felt it. So, anyway, let's see what 2 Minute News has got to say.
I remember what I've said about comets and asteroids and stuff like that. It's not, not liking them to be around, see? Alright, and then also we're going to be lucky that, because our footprint right now is right down here, as I will go over to, I was watching two minute news, and our footprint, Earth is down here, the sun, so this lower grid is what's towards us right now. This stuff is what's flaring off right here, and let me go back and show you that taking off. Here is the latest. So it's a good thing that we got the low footprint right now because we're down in that lower area. But the reason we're getting high temperatures is this from the supergiants and the sun. More than likely Alaraf and other objects that are close to the sun. This is massive distances out there in space. And remember, Earth is just but a speck. And actually, for folks, this is not the scale. The Earth is way smaller than this. The Earth is just but not even the very tip of my finger on my cursor, or the tip of the arrow on my cursor. So Earth is very, very small. And we're lucky that we're down here and barely missing some of this, but we might get some. I'll have to go to Solar Artisans and we'll take a look at that. Because, because as you can see, we were very lucky to be missing this this here yeah we're just low enough earth is really hiding out in a hole like a little rabbit I'm telling you and yes folks we're not in this shot at all the earth is way over here and down okay that's just how we face the sun right now Okay, direction-wise, we're day, we're, this is this is the area of the sun that's facing us right now. Farther out shot. So, like I say, everything you see on the screen. Because Earth is somewhere way over here where my cursor's at. Okay. So we're lucky we're missing this stuff. Remember, it's just the sun, right? It's not Alaraf or anything else. It's just the sun. Amazing. Thanks, Mad Woman 100. And then also, I've been getting confirmation from people too that the idea that there was even some Russian sailors on a Russian ship that was down there by Australia, and they're freaking out at what they're seeing up in the sky. Okay, uh, and that, and that was probably more towards Antarctica. Now we've got some people that may look like they're maybe on some hallucinogenic or something like that, or want to admit to having a bad habit of some sorts or something like that. I don't know if Kerasoft is trying to pull this crap or whatever. Uh, I've lived in the in certain areas of Northern California, and I've worked in San Francisco, but I've never lived there. So, and basically, I work more in Oakland than I did in. And anyway, so let's see what this dingbat's saying here. So we got some people that are got some kind of a genre thing. And the super giants, you watch all my old videos and you'll see what the super giants are. And I don't know what these people have got going on here. Something's. Yeah, well, Eric, the sizes of uh, super giants are huge 74 times the size of the sun. There's 100 stars that are larger than the sun in the Super Giants main sequence. Let me show you. Uh, see, anyway, people better watch out and be responsible for what they say, because basically I just got a new mic, and it's very centrally located on, so if I stop for a second, it does pick up my breathing very well, okay? Because it's right in my face, okay? But it does keep the sound of me speaking and most of the background noise out, so. I've passed three drug tests in the last three and a half months and also a physical so someone's got problems it sounds like it's good to know somebody had a rough life living in San Francisco feeling no pain I guess